bad news when he couldn't get his visa sorted in time. They was replaced by Thailand, but not so much Thailand pool players, it was the famous bueno, snooker bueno. players, Nathan Sangham and Tep First Tyler rock. Noon. South, South Africa, Africa break. To beat them. And now they've got a date with GB. Start of the match, JJ. You think this is important for South Africa? Yeah, absolutely. Because they actually started their first match pretty decent and then kind of started to fumble a little bit, right? Giving Thailand some more opportunities. Actually should have been probably a closer match than what it was. And like any underdog, they have to have a good start. As we saw Great Britain be as the underdog a little bit on paper. I don't think it was much, but... When they get off to a good start, they can really fly. Yeah. We're just thinking of playing safe. Huh? Where you were thinking of playing safe. Walk off the black and then uh, watch her. Yeah. You know, besides that's nerves, bit, right? Besides awesome. maybe some inherent things that you can't tell between the players. I mean, really, Ferone, I think, keeps up with Imran and somewhat with Melling potting the ball. Oh. But you got to get the non in every other aspect. Too hard. Try to get a little tricky there with that safety, I think, right? A lot going on with that. Yeah, that's right. And you don't want Chris and Imran getting loose in this match early on. Yeah. It's hard to tell for sure what's going on inside, but these two seemed as relaxed as any two I've been around away from the table. There is no, you know, kind of new situation. They both understand the importance of these matches and, and the importance of it, really every ball. No deer in the headlights for Great Britain B. A little fortunate, but I don't mind him making sure he doesn't flirt with that side pocket right there. Yeah, a little quick there, and when you get a little quick on the dry table, you don't get as much out of the cue ball. So I wouldn't say too much of a tester, but something he's got to pay attention to. Tell you what, I've not seen much of JJ because of the way the break was in Chris and Imran's first match. And then this rat, we've not seen much scrappy game from them two yet, have we? We've not seen where the balls have been messy because we've actually not seen them really discuss anything. It's all been run out, run out, run out. Yeah, if anything was messy in the first match, it was definitely for Great Britain A. And these guys broke and got a shot, and they were very efficient with the open table. But yeah, it's kind of like, you know, as an underdog, you know, like most are against Philly. Sometimes some of those scrappy, messy ones early can kind of get you in the match and make Filler start to think. And I think it's the same situation here for South Africa. If they can get a few of those with some safety battles, a few kicks, kind of remind the Great Britain B they're gonna, that we're in this match. Just uh... One ball. I'm not sure what the weather's like in South Africa. I've never been there, but these guys both have undershirts on and it's pretty warm in the arena, so the heat may not bother them so much.
second rack, Great Britain break, leading one rack to nil. Melin usually breaks pretty good, usually gets that cue ball stopping. Doesn't unleash loads of power on it usual, probably like 75%. Focus is on the cue ball. Nine balls close. It's the nine balls close and it's in the golden break again. Magic Melon makes a golden in rack two. Got it. No. This is the three and the two. Gone it was. The golden break is always lovely when it will break, isn't it? And you don't sit down in your chair and you think, oh, I've not done much for that rack. When you're the opponent, you just sat there shaking your head, fuming. Well, of course, just like Carl said, it's against you, it ain't so great. But I do like seeing the nine get moved around a little bit. I don't like it just always in the same position when it's when it's the ball to be shot later in the rack. Occasionally it does find a pocket. Third rack. Great Britain to break, leading to Rax to nil. So we've had three golden breaks so far. They've all come lately, haven't they? They weren't really there, so can Imran follow suit? No, he can't, but it is a good break, and they're on the two ball. Again, look, look at the split, JJ. Yeah, it would have been a little... Better if the three would have hung, but no corner ball. The one got down, the three in the upper corner. And uh, a pretty good starter, but a tight little shot to get on the four. The five's easy over the side, so it's not like you have to get a particular place on the four. I think he just pinches this back and lets Imran cut the four. And, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go crazy with this first shot. You know... Draw it back, get a diamond out. Not that tough of a cut shot again with the five hanging. Like, just imagine where the cue ball's at now. You're not going to get that far back, but on that line would be just fine. Yeah, he's, he's kind of got giddy there. I was with you. I mean, I appreciate the seven ball was probably doing a little bit of something in Chris's head, but where the five was, I think Imran would have been okay. Yeah, a little tricky here. Could end up behind the seven if it overhits a little bit. Oh, he came that way. Nice shot. Yeah, that's going to work out. Six to the seven is not going to be any cupcake. Anytime the object ball is on the rail and you have to come backwards with the cue ball, easy to pull it off that side rail. Has to be hit pretty pure. Good thing for South Africa. As I think here in a moment, they're going to have the right guy shooting it. Ah, that was a big time let up. Looking at his tip, maybe a touch of a miscue. Now, I think he becomes the underdog to make the six if he tries to get position. Hmm? Being down. Hmm? Are you comfortable with the shot being down? No. Would you bank this four rails around? Trying to drop it below the 8-9, kind of shove the cue ball forward a little Station bit. Code. I think going for this ball is pretty risky. Yeah, it's very risky. You have to hit ball first to come backwards, and it has to be super clean, good timing with the spin. Oh, 
Creech uh, didn't get the cue ball where he wanted. He's going to get snookered, but not get the edge. He did. I think he got more than the edge, Carl. Tom. Yeah. Well, maybe you can't see it. Wow, that certainly fooled me. We can't see it. Yeah, I thought he could. What are you going to finish? Kiss right here. Oof. He's going the bottom rail. <coughs> wow, how you feeling, Emron? <coughs> Stroke's good. Cut this right on in. But this is where they could look at themselves as pretty solid favorite. Maybe play a little safety behind the eight. Another chance for South Africa. Jason Theron playing this shot. These can get a little tricky. Yeah, in the first round, we were speaking about Kyle Akalu's action and that's a medical condition where he has a tremor in his cue action oh, that's worked out well well good shot we went to see a neurologist to try and get it sorted out and over the last couple of years it's actually at the worst possible point but that is a good South point Africa, the point is gone South Africa as they wave to the crowd. They know the crowd want GBA to win, be rather. But it's 2 1.
track four. South Africa to break, trailing two racks to one. Definitely the side of the table, what seems to be more favorable. But he's lost the cue ball. Yeah, after our replay, we'll see it's, a, I think, a pretty easy safety up behind the eight or somewhat behind the eight. Knocking the one the down table. Maybe not. Maybe you're just playing him behind the three right here. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was trying there, to be honest with you. I guess the cross side bank seems like he was holding position on the two, so. two rails around the three ball myself coming at more of a full one to hit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think also you can get separation as well unless you hit the three the one ball just dead full. Good hit. Opened everything up for Great Bit and B and what an easy starter. Has he got to kind of stun this with draw and then a little inside to come between the four and the five? Can he draw the ball around the nine? Or is he, can he get into the four here? Oh, he's coming that way. All about the speed. That'll do. Problems with the five and the eight, though. Gotten pretty much perfect. Leave me on the combo then. I'm just thinking I could just like drop it in and leave me on the combo straight combo. You sure? Yeah. Well, maybe you not. Sure? They're yeah, talking yeah, about the combination now, which is not a tough one if you're dressed up on it. Not one you would want to be cutting the five a whole lot, though. He's very good with the bridge. Yeah, I think a very good decision also. Just to roll that in. Making the pocket a little bigger. Extension, yeah. I thought you meant two extension. <laughs> extension. Extension code. 
Plenty of time. 30 seconds. One of us can play position. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And she goes, normal service. And the Great Britain. Go on, too far, it's perfect. You've gone short. Yeah, I think it's short, yeah, yeah. You can go this far too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This far too much, it's much too much. I'm going to come over there anyway, you know? It's just me and your players and you can't Yeah, that's the right shot there. You can't miss it, that's the right shot there. My break. Eight balls in, fuck it, you know, that's the right shot. No, you fucking you played it well. Timing the ball nice. Okay. I didn't swear. You played it well. You timed the ball nice there. You should pay me ten pound every time you swear. Who's <laughs> <laughs> breaking out? I broke last. Yeah, because I can take you know yourself when you're playing the position. There's always a case for going too far or too short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a case for going too far. You can't. Yeah, I got too far by two feet. Interesting, just to have a little listen. Apologies if there was any bad language in there. Yeah, when it comes to some decisions for South Africa, I think the Rowan's got to take the lead a little bit, right? Great Britain to break, leading three rugs to one. Two balls just come up okay for Imran. They've got a shot. Nice break off here, making a couple balls and a, a really natural angle on the two to get to the three as well. A little thin, so he's got to pay attention to pocketing the ball, but could be a little tricky. We'll see how he falls on the three, getting to the five. Should be pretty good. Draw back behind the five ball, it looks like. You can, you can stop it now, Snooker. Yeah, it's yeah. Snooker. Yeah, you, you can try, try and get on position on the top, if not, I'll yeah. play snooker, yeah. Yeah, try with you, yeah. Yeah. If not, play a decent snooker. Yeah. Yeah, you could hear Chris signalling he's going to try and get him there, and if he does under-hit this shot, they both know Extension. that's a really Extension good chance cold. of a good hook. Never easy when you're just trying to pull the cue ball back straight and stop it on a dime. Just like that, he didn't really get any action, but at least now they can get that cue ball welded. I may entertain the cross corner here and hold position myself. I may have, I may have thought about it anyways. Maybe for a second. Yeah, you know, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in the weekly tournament back home. Yeah. But Chris and uh, Imran, they don't they don't fish too far from the shore. Find it pretty tight. Extension. Goes Extension without call. saying, just hit the ball here. Just hit the ball. Don't, you know, don't give ball in and away, and just hope the two balls finish. In like a containing safety way. Oh, it's about making the ball for that playing a containing safety. What a shot from Theron. And I was going to say in the opening match, he's made, he made some beautiful hits on multiple rails and none better than this right here. This is not easy for Kyle though, is it? Cue balls on the rail. Yeah, you can take any bay event, not easy. 
They might make it look easy, but... Yeah, it wasn't easy. It really wasn't. Oh, in hand. Yeah, but at least he gave himself a chance, didn't he, in that rack? They was in a bad spot. They was hooked. So they nearly made something happen. Great Britain are on a roll. It's now 4-1. Um, just get, keep the pressure on now. Yeah, just, just keep playing sensible shots. Like yeah. Yeah. You can't do that if you kick that ball in. Like. Win this one no, to no, the break. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This was the kick from Jason. Enabled them to get one more shot in this rack. Beautiful kick there. The seven ball from Kyle Akalu. Well, as JJ said, anyone in the event can miss them. Seven ball. Seven ball. Seven and the teams that will advance and play tomorrow and on to Sunday. Weather's going to change a little bit. It's right. Yes. Lose a little bit of this heat. Rack six. Great Britain to break. Leading four racks to one. Let's see what Imran Majid can do. On this, we've already seen one golden break. That was from Chris. The nine's moving again. So is the cue ball. Cue ball's going to go close to the side. The crowd was involved as well. And I'll tell you, he hit those really square and no corner ball again from that right side. Did make the one. Play with a bit of pace, but it's a free go. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I've got to go for the pot and on the turn, really. Yeah, yeah. It's tough. Chris Mellon's one of the great potters in any walk Extension. of life. Extension coach. Q Sports. So, you feel like he's a big favourite to make this shot? Yeah, it's right in between, though. A little thinner, he goes up and down easily. A little thicker, he rolls it in. But he's missed it. So South Af South Africa, sorry, are out of the chair. They've got a tough combination. Yeah. 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 It's a very yeah. difficult yeah. combo. I feel it. I feel it. Double it. There's no choice. Kyle was talking about the bank shot. That's the crash. Extension code. Combo. He's there, isn't he, JJ? Yeah, I mean, you got to play smart, but you also have to play aggressive when the aggressive play is there. I think this combination, even though it is a little off angle, there's a little distance, it's not that difficult. A little more love with positioning the two and getting another he shot.
Brooklyn. Safety. Cue ball looks pretty good. Cue ball oh, looks good. Surely. Just rolled. Has he just got there? It's an anxious look. A little shake of the head and a bit of a wry smile. If you can't get it, go two rows. He'll kick it behind. Yeah. Yeah, I think Great Great Britain has a shot here. Oh no, they don't. Kick and stick, trying to get the cue ball where the two is. He's lost the cue ball a little bit, and that is going to give South Africa a chance at this two ball and the rack. We know the three goals because we heard Chris say it passes at the start of the rack. Yeah, yeah. I've got three blockers here. Well done, Kyle. Well done, indeed. And he's gotten a little straight here and didn't want to catch the four coming into the pocket with the three and have it just get edged over to the bottom rail. So this has got to be nice. Way to cheat the pocket there. Can you get uh, that side? Yeah. A little hard. It's a little hard. Well, I think Theron will tell you it's a lot hard and much tougher shot now. And really a little concern with the cue ball. I mean, I guess you could float it, maybe draw back into the six or the seven here. the shortest stroke I've ever seen him make. Not a very big backswing and kind of got down on it quickly. Yeah, that's how the shot, you've got to commit. Your partner's not got you how you want it, but you've got to step back, take a breather, maybe it's a shot clocky for the ad one, and really commit to the shot. How will you just play the ball, make sure you pop the ball, run into the seven or the six and, and see what you get. Chris is chasing the nine ball. Oh, and he's missed it this time. Bit of drama going on here early on. Has he got the hook? He has got the hook. I'm sat right behind it so he can go airborne. But he may go rail first on the right hand side of the table. Yeah, and I think it was a seven out of ten combo, so I understand the safety. Extension code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have it. Fancied him to make it though. Used it. It's used. Yeah. Needs to hurry up. They thought they had an extension and they don't. What a mistake this is. JJ, you're the captain of America. When you're training the team, you do a lot of shot clock work, don't you? That was a, a huge mistake there from South Africa. Yeah, very much so. And bit on your partner as well. Your partner's got to keep you informed, but you can't dissect every shot. And really, you're going to start to play better pool when you just start to trust what's going on. And what the heck is going on here? What on earth has Imran Majid just hand. done? The ball in hand the and put the cue ball slip, in the slip, left slip. center pocket. What a gift. Yeah, and I don't really know why it happened. Certainly wasn't trying to go past the side with the cue ball, you yeah. wouldn't figure. And yeah. I'll tell you, that last match, some crazy things. Well, that rack went back and forth. It was crazy. Everyone had a chance to win the rack. South Africa, they're still in this match. It's 4 2. We're taking a small break.
Welcome back, day four of this year's World Cover Pool. It's hot in here. And I'll tell you where else it's hot. The nine ball schedule, matchroom pool. They're taking over the show. Recently announced European Open, August the 9th. Through to the four teams in Volsten Holmans, hometown for the Germany. That's going to be great. And then the big one, the US Open nine ball championships, October 10th till the 15th, Atlantic City. JJ, you cannot wait for that one. Yeah, that's that's the ticket to me. And of course, the biggest team event in the world, the Moscone Cup. Can JJ and Rock his seven. boys get the cup back? South Africa to break, trading four racks to two. Okay, if you're just tuning in, the last rack was madness. South Africa, they're still in this match. It's 4-2 to Great Britain. Oh, this break looks good, JJ. This break looks good. The two ball's going to stay over the pocket. Chance? Yeah, very much so. And exactly on the break, what I was thinking of was the last match where the break really turned the match around after Switzerland was trailing so heavy. They made five on the break, three on the break, a golden break, and then some fine shooting along with it. And I think uh, South Africa could get going here. He's gotten him perfect here to just draw across. Uh-oh. This is going to be close. He's all right. Yeah, he's okay. He can play for the six in the top left corner. Just got to be a little bit careful with the bounce. Maybe he can play for one of the center pockets as well. Oh, no. Kyle Akalu, what a chance. What have you done there, buddy? Yeah, and the one thing I'm seeing from him is he's really not going behind the object ball, looking it to the pocket prior to the shot, which is very common with the top players and just gives you a little bit better perspective on what you're doing out there. Chris with a bank shot. Oh, and he's missed it. It's an unusual miss. South Africa need this to bounce. I'm sat right behind it in the com box. It does go, but it's always been tricky one. Yeah, a lot. It squares off a lot. Yeah, I know, I know. What do you think the bank is? You've got to aim it a bit wider. Yeah. I know. Right, it's Yeah. Yeah, I think what they're discussing is I can make the five, and he should shoot at it, but he can't, I don't think he yeah, can really get a great on the six. It's maybe it's some cool. type of long shot. You wouldn't want to put inside spin on this ball. Maybe just straight and come across. Yeah, you'd have to say Great Britain have been a little bit fortunate for the five to land there when you've missed the bank and it's bouncing across the table. I don't think he's even shooting. I mean, if you don't fancy it, you don't fancy it, there. But this is cuttable for him, Rant. At least he got a little distance, so at least they're making got an extension, Chris. boys from Britain do Station something. Gold. I said, have we got an extension, Chris? Oh, do we want it, don't I, we? No, no, not yet, not yet. Not well, yet. you're going to need it in a minute, Imran. <laughs> He's saying he don't want it, but he needs to get down quick. He's only got 10 seconds left. Oh, great pop, but he forgot about the cue ball. I don't know if he really backed himself to bot the ball there, JJ. Yeah, I don't think so. He definitely played at the speed to just for the safety and knocked it right in. There aren't probably no one. Maybe Efren has as many crazy kicks as Chris Milling. You may see another. 
extension. Turn a pot extension in the top gold. right pocket. Check it out. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, what he's doing here is he's just using the same distance between the rail and the ball and a mirror image. It always seems to go close to these type of shots. Well, he didn't play the middle. Have they got away with it? They haven't. They've left it. Maybe if it's dead straight. Okay, mate. Good hit. Good hit. Yeah. Good hit. Chin up. Chin up. He may get elevated over the nine right here. Okay, he got beside it. That would have been a little treacherous shot. important to, to mention Kyle's medical condition. You can see the back arm shaking. He can't help that, of course. Oh, but what matters know. is South Africa somehow are just one behind. Great Britain have thrown the last two racks away. I was checking to see if we've got an extension for the man. JJ, you've been around the pool scene a long time. This game, it can come, come and get you, can it? <laughs> Yeah, I can start to get between the ears for Great Britain a little bit. And, and really a lighten the load, knowing, hey, we got some games on the board. We've gotten a few shots down. Let's just kind of free roll. Just 4X, that's all. It's just 4X. Chase and just telling Kyle, it's just 4X. We're good. <laughs> This is what happens if they get another four. They will meet seed four, Spain. One of the hottest teams so far in this event. And look at that for a clash at the top. Netherlands against Chinese Taipei. Netherlands knocked out defending champions Germany. And of course, they will be quarterfinals. Rock eight. Matches. South Africa to break. Trailing four rocks to three. They're on to break. South Africa trail four racks to three. Two ball needs help, JJ. It needs yeah. help. Yeah, may get it. Ooh, another little kiss there. Maybe a kiss shot on the seven, not too hard of a shot. Cut, cut on the two is not too bad either. And I'll tell you what's interesting about some of those matchups coming. As again, the Co brothers played pretty solid, of course. Netherlands. A big win, but I still don't think either one of those teams have played their top shell pool yet. And I think we will see it. Yeah, do the two ball anyway. He's telling them the safety just to bang the two ball up by the pink and try and use a big eight ball as an eclipse. He may even kind of slide the cube over on top of the seven a little bit, making queuing a little tougher. Well, I tell you, I stay aggressive in this spot, though. I'm trying to make something. I think either the seven or the two. I don't know which. And this is why I would have been afraid of getting that. That's a touchy shot to kind of stun the ball and control the speed, right? Hmm? It's one thing. I would have had him roll the ball, I think, to put it on the four. Even if he comes up off the rail, he's probably still going to get behind the eight and contain okay. the two. Try and get in the gap, yeah. Try and get through the gap. Extension. Extension. Extension cold. And the worry here is running into the, the nine, I think, or the six. He's okay. It'll free up, it looks like. That will do nicely. That will do nicely. 
And I'll tell you, he stayed calm with the stroke. That was important to get by the nine and honestly by that six apiece. This is just what the boys needed. They needed a Same. clear chance at the table and something to put the last couple of racks behind them because they know they should be well in front, maybe even on the hill. Maybe even sat in the studio. Yeah. What do you want to do? say? Which one? Dinner yeah, right now, maybe ahead. because these guys had they played awfully well in the first match, and you think they were going to put some racks together here, if not a couple of mistakes. Is he on the draw to where he's drawn towards the side? I think he just got past it to where he can draw back underneath him. Oh, he's going forward. Okay. I may draw this ball one rail back over, but I think either's fine. So this is the And there will be relief there. He really will. And then there's the crowd involved. Just puts a little feet over to South Africa, of course. I know. They'll be kicking himself, JJ. That was a good chance, wasn't it, to keep the heat on Great Britain there with a good little safety. I'm thinking of Lucky Perfect. I couldn't agree more. And again, the scoreline keeps the heat on Great Britain as well. Nice opener there for Great Britain. And it seems to me watching Chris, and I may be dead wrong, of course, but it seems to me he doesn't have quite as slow a backswing as he used to. Just a little bit quicker backswing. Not quick at all by any means, but he used to have a very pronounced backswing. Control white, yeah. Yeah, I believe Melly will be breaking. My break, so I miss a cup, if you remember. In the two ball. Rack nine. Great return to break. Dating five racks to three. Another good break, but there's no shot on the blue too. That is the lowest ball. The one ball's gone. Yeah, I don't think they can grumble too much on the break. They've had a golden break in this match. Yeah, he's got to roll out up table to the top rail somewhere, leaving a pretty thin cut on the two, and they want to go for it. Maybe no way to hold position on the three. Play the push would you, just tip would you the maybe? I mean, the six on the considering push. they feel like they're a big favorite, we the feel just like they're a big the favorite. The five, that's better, sure. Yeah, just push yeah. for a ball. Well, I guess yeah. he really so can't bridging. maybe well, push the four just down just in between the five and the yeah. six and yeah. get the cue ball up to the top rail. I don't think that's push. really that push easy. Out Make sure you don't get some double kiss or anything here. Okay, he's all right. That's a pretty light speed. Yeah, I wouldn't want to have been jacked up, though, and I doubt that they're going to take this on. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Just make sure you don't get it. Is it my guy? I think so. Yeah. The white will be better back over here. I'll go for it. Come on. If the three passes the nine, why not have a go at the pot? Yeah, I think you're right. The more I look at it. Okay. Yeah, really, I'm trying to think how a miss would hurt. If you hit overcut it, you should be okay. The two should get to the back rail. If you undercut it, you may give up a, a look at the two, but nothing offensive. Yeah, the speed is key. You don't hit it too hard. Might end up okay. <laughs> yeah. 
She looks as handed as the back. Huh? She looks as handed as the back. Well, that's not difficult. Because it's tough to get that safe, isn't it? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you Literally. All right, leave Cuba. Put down to you. Yeah. Chris is going to have a go at this. It's hard to get it safe, do you know what I mean? Maybe he's going to... Go. Unless you edge it on the right hand side, I'd rather go for Maybe it. he's going to try and run yeah. a cue ball Extension. into seven. Extension call. It. it could stay over the left side of the table somehow. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to really put inside here or not, though. This ball could hook around the seven and scratch. I think if he goes for it, just straight ball. Yeah, the four-inch pocket that match room brought into the sport of nine ball. This is where it shows up because in the older pocket, that would have probably slid and fell in. Yeah, when I saw the strike on the two ball, I really wasn't that disappointed. I thought it had a chance. And, I tell you know, thinking about the situation and should probably still work. A little funny. He's going to be a little stretched with a right hander. And I'm wondering if maybe you consider the safety there in that position if you're Chris. Well, South Africa have definitely had the chances in this match, haven't they? That's have to go for a double. Safety double. It's in. A double, he said. Extension. Extension call. He just said he's going to have to go for the double. That's the bank shot up into the top left. Well, it's certainly cuttable with the bridge. I don't think it's a scratch myself, but oh, maybe safety. it is. Yeah, I have to, I have to yeah. yeah, I have to. I got to get on with it, though. He's going for the nine, maybe. He's going for the bank top left. It's close. Yeah, it's going to bounce out. Yeah, he's just pushing the boat out, I'm afraid. Yeah, before that, I would have considered the nine, and I don't think I ever heard him speak of the nine, really. We don't have an extension either, Jim. 20 seconds. Good thing for Great Britain is the five goes to both pockets. going to be pretty ideal at the cue off the rails a touch as well. Yeah, I'm not sure why he came out so much on. Okay, good angle. I'm thinking about what you're doing, Jim. All right, you've got an angle. Chris is, Chris is having a go at his partner then. I told him, you need to think about what you're doing. He said Jim, but that's his nickname on the circuit. They call him Jim. Well, the nine is there. Great Britain are on the hill. Don't hit him on the head just yet, Chris. Because you've got a match to win. 6-3. We're taking a short break.
Well, he sprays Kyle with the water. He didn't look too impressed. And then himself. We could do with a few bottles of them, JJ. Well, make sure that doesn't go on your tip. Track 10. Great Britain to break. On the hill, no, leading 6-3. But even the leather might be sweating tonight. Another dry break from that right rail. Yeah, why would you break from the left side of the table? Yeah, it's like, uh, you know, you and I have been sitting here watching every match, so it's maybe more obvious to us, but it's something that in any tournament, if you expect to play on a certain table, you got to you gotta pay attention to which one's breaking best. If I was playing with you and you broke first in the first round of our match and the wing ball went in, I'd just go. I'd just put the cue ball where you did. Yeah, right. You're not happy with the jump. Especially no, Switzerland good. right before him, correct? I mean, push out. Push out, both. broke from the, the, you know, their left side rail, our right side as viewers, but I don't think they're going to get this jump back, especially if they give any angle on the one Extension. to get on the two. Extension, Cole. Got to be careful when you're pushing this. You don't end up pushing it too hard to the rail. Oh, right. this may be passed back. Oh, they're getting this yeah, one yeah, back. Yeah. <laughs> back to South Africa. Yes. Yeah, and really, he's forced to jump it. I don't really see a, a very doable kick, to be honest with you. The two's in the way, the five's in the way, in a few different manners. And, like the old dart jump shot when it's this close. Yeah, so the poor push and the poor jump has give Great Britain a chance Start the clock, please. to get through to the quarterfinals and a meeting with Spain. Okay, we'll see if he rolls across or if he kind of draws and comes past the side. A little preference. I think Chris will just come out for the corner. No reason to draw back for the side, I guess you can. I wouldn't have myself. I would have just stunned out for the lower right. Yeah, they're okay here though. Yeah, he can get by the nine, just come two rails at the five. He's drawing it. I thought he could hit a high ball. That'll do. Chris is funny to watch when he plays Scotch doubles. He's like shaking his head because he feels yeah. like the man's maybe not seeing it quite the same, Chris. Does. Well, it's going to get him through this match. They know they need to improve and. We'll see if any conflict between the two guys hurts them later on in the event, but I think they'll come together just fine. It's there, the nine ball is there.